Hi, my name is Raj and you're watching Kalaka.in. Today we are going to review this beauty. Isn't she cute? I did unboxing of this 3D printer a while ago and I'll put a link in the top right corner. So please do check that out. Today I will tell you the pros and cons and whether you should buy this 3D printer. Let's look at the pros first. This one is compact and gorgeous. If you have a living room, you cannot keep your DIY 3D printers over there because they do ugly. You have to find a garage. But this can sit on your living room and it will not spoil the look of it. The second is the power ratings. This 3D printer consumes about 12 volt 8 amperes. That's really less. Even with this less amount of power, the hot end reaches around 215 degrees really quick. That could be because the hot end is well insulated. Any car these days provide around 12 volt 10 amperes. So you can actually 3D print using the car battery also. Although I don't know why would you do that. It's loaded with features. There's auto leveling function and there's manual too. You can move the hot end to different positions and you can raise the Z height by setting in the touch screen and the software actually remembers it. There's also filament in and out functionality. We know how difficult it is to hold the extruder and push the filament through in. But here you can just tap the buttons and it extrudes the filament. Let's not forget all this is done by this really colorful TFT screen. The touch sensitivity is amazing. You can raise and lower over the temperature of the hot end by just tapping the buttons while talking about hot ends let's not forget how quickly it heats up which i mentioned earlier even when it is at 215 degrees i can remove the hot end and replace it with another one and it is just warm to the touch maybe because of the coating and the insulation in the hot end part of the reason why the hot end can reach really high temperature within a very less time this 3d printer is really well built with such a small package it would have been difficult for them to cram in the electronics and hardware inside but they have done an amazing job the plastic does not feel cheap at all even the spool holder is aluminium and it is anodized as well to go with the premium look all the bolts were well tightened and it was basically ready to go out of the box all i had to do is level the bed and it was done the 3d printer comes with an app too if you have set the leveling right then you can load the files from your mobile and it will be printed for you but i have personally not ever tested it because i never had a use for it but if you're into such things then it's a very useful feature now that we have looked into the pros let's look at the cons as well just because the 3d printer is gorgeous it doesn't mean you can take it to the bedroom because the moving parts make a hell lot of noise so it is okay if it stays in the living room the power rating is less because it does not come with a heated bed they do not even give you any surface to 3d print on it just comes with the aluminium plate but i was able to cut some glass and put a vinyl on top of it with a carbon pattern and it worked out really well almost all my prints stuck really good to the plate the software is good but it forgets the leveling information the moment you switch it off so i would suggest that you take the allen key and set the level of the bed manually that way you will never face the leveling issues in the future because of the small package the total printable area that you get is 130 mm in all directions but that was never a problem for me because i was able to print 80 percent of my prints in this 3d printer in fact most of this clock gears were printed using this machine at my home you can see the gears are of great quality and amazing layer addition this was printed at 0.2 layer height and at 60 mm per second print speed but this looks like 0.1 layer height and it is very smooth there are no x-axis or y-axis jerks or ghosting scene. The filament that I used for this prints are from solid space filaments that is made in India and that's also a big reason for the quality of the print. There was even extrusion all through the print and very less tolerance levels. This helps in the part being printed very smoothly. It also comes in this eco-friendly spool which is made of cardboard. These filaments were so amazing so we decided to bring it to you. Now you can order these filaments from our website directly. We are currently selling PLA, ABS and PETG filaments in different colors. So please do check them out and experience an amazing change in your print quality. After seeing pros and cons, we have come to this question that if we recommend buying this printer, definitely yes. We are so impressed by this 3D printer that we think why not all the 3D companies make such full-fledged 3D printers. But I think the 3D community is evolving and the manufacturers are listening to the community. Yes, of course the print bed is small and there is no heated bed, but that's not stopping us from printing all our prints on this machine. If you ask me, I would say if you're a maker, a designer or a homemaker and if you want to get into 3D printing, then this is a really good 3D printer to start with. When you're working through the nights and making amazing designs and want to prototype something really quickly, this printer is always there. If you want to grab one of this machine, then we have a coupon code in the description. It's a limited time one, but it will fetch an amazing discount for you. 
Also do check out our solid space filaments in our marketplace. We have a link for that also in the description. Please support this channel by subscribing to it. We have done an extensive testing on this mission. So if you really like the review, then please do click on the like button. Also follow us on Instagram to see what we are working right now. Hope to see you in another project video. I'm Jesse Happy and you've been watching Kalakar.in. Until next time, happy learning.